Hello everybody, welcome to Sports Banner 38. I am Coach Carroll and this video we're going to talk about uh, the NFL action last night between Kansas City Chiefs and the Los Angeles Chargers uh, and we're going to talk about the uh, upcoming weekend as far as NFL football is concerned. Uh, we actually had a, a nail biter last night. It uh, all ended on a two point conversion attempt on a last second score to win by one point for the Los Angeles Chargers. Uh, really, really good game, guys. If you're an NFL fan, it's one that you had to see. Um, you know, your regular players, Phillip Rivers and Patrick Mahomes, both did their thing, had good games. Rivers, 26 to 38, 313 yards and two touchdowns, while Patrick Mahomes was 24 to 34 for 243 yards and two touchdowns as well, which gives him 45 for the season. Uh, he's having an MB MVP caliber season, uh, but this loss really, really, really hurts the uh, Chiefs. Uh, if they win this game, they basically have the, the front row seat to the uh, uh, number one seed in the AFC. Now, with this loss, it complicates things a little bit. They still got a, got a chance, but um, it's not going to be easy. Uh, that, you know, Some things have to fall into place for them, and they have to take care of business themselves. Um, but you know, all in all, like I said, it was a really good game. The uh, you know the Chiefs has been on a tear all season. Kansas, uh, the Chargers have played well. Uh, Philip Rivers is having one of the best seasons he's ever had in his career. Uh, you know this this is uh, I don't know it could potentially wind up as an AFC Championship game. I don't know that for sure. It just depends on how the seeds kind of fall out but right now I believe these two teams uh, have a good chance to get uh, I say number one and number two seed but I, that's actually not the case because they're in the same uh, division so if they wasn't in the same division they could probably be one and two seed there still are scenarios where they could potentially meet in the AFC championship game but uh, that is no guarantee um, anyway we got Saturday games this week uh, the two Saturday games is uh uh, Houston Texans on the road against the Jets uh, another big game with playoff implications you know as long as Houston is able to win uh, this week and next week they will win their division so a uh, big game for Houston uh, then you go to Cleveland going to Denver um, you know Baker Mayfield you know he's actually come on really well here the last few weeks so uh, this will be a, a good test for him on the road. Uh, you know, that's a lot, a lot of interest there for a Saturday game. Uh, moving on to the um, Sunday games, you got Green Bay at Chicago. Green Bay still holding par as far as uh, the leader in the NFC North. They're looking really, really good defensively. Uh, Trubisky has played well. Uh, if he's back from injury, you know, and all those sort of things are the questions you have on the Bears, but their defense has been able to hold them together. Uh, Dallas going to Indianapolis. Both of these teams have playoff inspirations. Uh, so Dallas is leading the NFC East. They, they fell behind, and they've actually been on a, a surge here lately. Indianapolis is right in the mix for that wild card game. If they win out, they probably control their destiny. Uh, just depends on some of the head-to-head -head matchups, but I believe 10 and 6 is going to get you in. And between them and the Tennessee Titans, um, whoever wins that final game will probably be in. Whoever lo loses will probably be out. Uh, moving on, of course, we talked about Tennessee. They're going on the road against the Giants. Uh, Giants had a huge game last week. Saquon Barkley has been wonderful all season long. Uh, their problem is consistency. So, uh, will they be able to put together two back-to-back -to -back games? And, and you know, some could argue the same about Tennessee as well. They both are coming off really good performances. So, uh, there's a lot to see in that game. It should be a good game. Uh, the Giants at five and eight, pretty much are are playoffs are not in the, in the question but Tennessee has more to play for so uh, if they can win this week and next week it'll set up a big game for them and Indianapolis in the final week of the season uh, moving on you got Tampa Bay going to Baltimore that's another game with playoff implications 
Uh, Tampa Bay has not been very consistent this year. Baltimore been a little more consistent. Uh, they got Lamar Jackson at quarterback. I don't believe that's a, a, a formula to win in the playoffs, but if you got to at least get there first. So Baltimore will be ready for that game. Seattle at 8-5 going to San Francisco. Seattle has come on pretty good here lately. Uh, they need to keep, you know, they want to keep their uh, playoff positioning in the positive. So they're going to really be looking forward to that, winning that game, really bringing their best effort with uh, Russell Wilson. Uh, we got New England at 9-4 and four going to 7-5 and five Pittsburgh. With the tie and everything on Pittsburgh's record, the 7-5-1, and one, they really need to get this game. Uh, they need to win this one. Um, and I believe if they win and Tennessee loses, they clinch a, clinch a playoff spot. Not exactly sure how that works. This is, this is crazy, but, you know, that's how it goes. And you got Philadelphia going to the Rams. Rams 11-2. Um, Rams should win this game, I believe. Uh, but in the NFL, it truly is every any given Sunday. Anybody can beat anybody. So, uh, you know, they are at home, which, I, uh, you know, from the uh, East Coast all the way to the West Coast. So that, you know, th that's got to factor in a little bit. Uh, New Orleans at 11-2 going to Carolina at 6-7. and seven. Carolina is a good 6-7 and seven team. They may be the best 6-7 and seven team. Uh, New Orleans could uh, be they, – they probably are on – uh, upset alert for this one because Carolina plays really really good ball at home and you got Cam Newton you got a physical team so uh, you know this should be uh, an interesting game anyway that's all I got for this video guys please uh, uh, like share uh, hit the subscribe button and comment let me know what you think about some of the upcoming games uh, you know how do you see the playoff scenarios playing out and all that good stuff uh, anyway, guys, thanks again for watching. Uh, this is Sports Banner 38. I am Coach Carroll, and we are out.